Hey guys, Max B here, and I want to take a quick time out from stacking wood um, to, to try to finish up my tutorial on how to in install an in-ground fence. And in this one, it is talking about problem areas. And my problem area that I had doing this was this. This line of thick tree. These are some sort of cedar tree, and, there, and there's a, just a bunch of them that borders the property between my property and my neighbor's property. It's right in the line. Um, so when I was running um, the wire, I kind of came to this area, and to when, when I tried to actually get into the trees here to do it, I found it was extremely difficult. You had to kind of fight through all this brush to, to, to get, you know, to try to get in there with a the shovel, and I found it very difficult to do. One of the options I could have done is just run it kind of right here, right, and I can't really do it, but, you know, right in the grass, right along the side, but that would have also cut off a lot of the property that we want the dog to actually have access to. So I, I definitely wanted to run it in the trees. So what do you do? Um, well, what I did was I didn't bury it. What I did is you just kind of go in, you can kind of push the wire in there, just kind of run the wire um, um, along, along the, the, um, the trunks of the trees, and just leave it on the ground without actually burying it. Um, what happens over time is debris, leaves, stuff like that will kind of naturally bury it for you. Um, and because this is so thick, you couldn't see it anyways. Um, but regardless, it, it did end up burying itself over time. Um, and that's, I think, the best way to go about these types of situations, not actually burying it. I, I know my brother-in-law actually has some wooded area in the back of his lawn. Um, and what he did, he did the same type of thing. Kind of just lay, For that part of it, he just kind of laid it on top because to dig through all the leaves and the, and the, and the rocks and the... Um, and and all the stuff that it just built up before you can even get to the dirt it just it is extremely time consuming and it wasn't really worth, worth it for him so he kind of laid it over there not be laid it into the woods and and, and it works fine um, the dog knows it's in there and it won't go through it um, and nobody else can actually see it so if you get to an area like this i would highly recommend it just just lay the wire in um, on the surface you don't actually need to bury the wire for it to work and then way up at the far end the corner when i ran it out this way yeah then i just started burying it again and as went around the property kind of buried it again um, and that's it that's how that works so if you get to an area like this don't be don't be scared of just laying it on the ground and not actually burying it it'll work out just fine for you all right and that's it so um, if you like this please hit the like subscribe button also if, if you have any comments please comment below um, especially if you find a good reason not to do that um, I'd, be, I'd be I'd like to hear about that also you can check out my website that is whitedoglife.com I'll just put that into your your URL um, and you can go there for some more information or whatever a couple laughs uh, so that's it. Once again, I'm Max B, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!